Hi, I'm Robin with Robin's Re3. I thought I would go over a few simple tips when um, you purchase a, an unpainted rail, deco mesh rail from us. There are a few things that I want to suggest that you do when painting your rail. Okay, number one, we use Bullseye 123 Primer. Okay, we prime it with this before we paint it. Um, anytime you have MDF wood, it needs to be primed with um, a product that is not water base. Okay, acrylic paints are water base. Um, you need a product like this that will seal it tight so no moisture will get in there and make it swell. Now when you get your board, your rail, it comes with your sign for the most part, okay? You also, with this one, get extra pieces that go on it. Now, my suggestion is once you prime it and then you paint it, use liquid nails to adhere your sign to the wood. There should be a half inch around the border. Now on these, I have the letter B marked on here for back, okay? These are like a puzzle, the pieces that go on here. You have to find the right uh, sequence of petal leaves, okay? Now, once you've primed it, once you've painted it, and you've got your liquid nails, put your sign down first. Because as you'll see, let see if I can find the, the proper sequence here. Like I said, it's like a puzzle. Okay? This flower overlaps your sign. So, if you went ahead and put this, glued this first, you wouldn't be able to put this on. Okay? So, always glue your sign down first, then glue the extra pieces to the side. Now, what I use is, I'll use a heavy can of paint, a heavy bottle of water, vinegar, laundry detergent, um, a five pound bag of sugar, something to weight the sign down and hold it in place. Usually by the next day, it's dry. And I also use the liquid nails for gluing the pieces down. Now, when you get one of our rails and you get the sign, this one is our ladybug rail. I send you two little ladybugs. Now, as you can see from the um, from the side here, I made just a little path with a with a um, paint marker to make it look like she's just following a little path down to the the rose or the heart at the bottom. Okay, that's something you can do. If you can't, we can do that for you. If you want your rail to have a wooden appearance to it instead of paint, then I would highly suggest the Zinzer Bullseye Seal Coat. This actually has two coats of that on it. I wanted it to look wood-like. Um, and the bunnies, I wanted those to look wood-like also. So they are made of MDF, and all we did was use this seal coat, two coats to seal it. I like the look of wood. I think it's really unique. All right, so always look at your rail. We're going to be um, sending this one off, so I'm going to go ahead and do this now. All right, I always put my um, business name on the back, so you'll know the back from the front. And you need to know the back from the front because you need to know where these pieces are going to sit. Okay, so you've got your primer, your bullseye one, two, three primer, and then we use sandpaper. Once we prime it, we use, after it's dry, we use like a 220 grit sandpaper to sand it down smooth. And then we just coat it with this uh, chalk paint by Krylon. Um, it leaves a nice smooth finish. 
one that's totally sealed and you shouldn't have any problem with it being out in the weather all right so i will list in the um in the uh, description the name of these and where you can purchase them the liquid nails is what i use to attach the sign so it will all be in there for you if you have any problems with your rail any questions all my links will be in the comments you will be able to reach me through email facebook youtube whatever you'll be able to reach me um all our rails are on etsy at this time we have more coming out um if you ever have a suggestion or need a specific rail contact us we we can do custom work also all right thanks and have a great day